Most vaccines don't provide 100% protection against the infection for which they're intended. However, some of them are, are very, very close. For example, if you look at the HPV vaccine, this is human papillomavirus vaccine, which actually can prevent cervical cancer uh, in women. If it's given before a girl is exposed to HPV, it's very, very close to 100% effective. The same vaccine, however, if given at an older age, is much less effective. So when you look at the COVID-19 vaccines, the original data that came out uh, back last winter, uh, which was the original strains as opposed to the Delta strain, the vaccines were about 95% effective if you're looking at Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines. Uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was a little bit less effective. And even still now, with the Delta variant being the predominant uh, strain in the community, the vaccines are holding up pretty well, more in the 70 to 85 percent range in terms of at least preventing uh, severe infection, preventing death and hospitalization. So these are actually quite good vaccines. And, and let's just take a second to compare it to influenza and pneumonia vaccines. Those range anywhere from about 50 to 70 or 80 percent effective. So the COVID vaccines, by you know, any stretch of measurement, are very, very effective vaccines. There's various ways of measuring vaccine effectiveness. So for instance, with influenza, if you have a 60 percent effective vaccine that prevents a large number of infections, that's actually pretty good because when you realize it's 60 percent effective at preventing someone from getting the flu, but those who got vaccinated and then get the flu anyway have much less severe disease. The same is true of the pneumonia vaccine, and the same appears to be true of the COVID-19 vaccines. We are seeing some breakthrough cases for people who have received either Moderna or Pfizer. However, they don't tend to be as severe, and those people have a much, much lower rate of hospitalization and death compared to people who did not get vaccinated. So even when vaccines are not 100% effective, and even when people who get vaccinated can still get infected and transmit, it's still uh, a, a significant improvement in the community. The higher the percentage of people vaccinated, the lower the number of people within the community that are going to get infected. Again, what we're seeing right now is that uh, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine against the Delta variant of COVID-19 is running around 70 to 85 percent in terms of preventing people from getting infected. Uh, but probably even better in terms of preventing people from being hospitalized or dying from COVID-19. About 85% of the patients within Kettering Health who have been admitted to the hospital for COVID are not vaccinated. That means that only about 15% of the patients who have been admitted have been vaccinated previously. And when we look at the numbers of deaths, Although I don't have exact percentages, it's similar and I think even more favorable towards uh, those who have been vaccinated. It is quite protective uh, against the outcome of death.